Now this has got to be one of the most exciting new product we've seen in a while. This is, surprise surprise, coming from Tamiya. This is Tamiya's centipede robot. And Tamiya has been trying to boost their robotic line quite aggressively in the last few months. And we have to say the centipede robot is really, really intriguing. Uh, it was just unveiled not too long ago at the Shizuka Hobby Show, which is ending today. And if you look at the uh, centipede robot, it is only powered by two AA batteries. But somehow they managed to get you know all their different feet to run uh, you know separately, which is quite an amazing feat. So we have yet to know what is the price and release date, but this seems to be a fun educational toy for kids who are really interested in working with robotics. The next robotic product coming from Tamiya is this guy. This is the Cam Program Robot. Means uh, it's a programmable robot. And surprisingly, it only runs on one AA battery as you can see here at this bag. So the one uh, stick that's protruding to the back, that is the program stick as they call it. We don't have the much details here. But this guy is coming, uh, if, as, if you're not mistaken, it's coming in July. Going at only 3,200 yen, which is actually surprisingly very, very cheap. Also announced at the Shizuka Hobby Show this weekend was the new water-based product called the Submarine Moto Mini, coming in only at 700 yen. So that is basically the cylinder product that you see that's attached at the bottom of the jet ski board in white just now. Or oh, here is a much more closer video picture of how it's attached to the Mantis Ray. So the Moto Mini Submarine is actually going only for 700 yen, it's releasing in June. And it'll be interesting to see how they actually develop this product that is totally enclosed uh, and waterproof as well. So that's actually quite interesting. And only going for 700 yen, you know, the Submarine Moto Mini is actually quite affordable. And all the separate products such as the Jet Ski Boat, the Mantis Ray, and they also have a Dolphin that's going at 1,500 yen. We're not sure yet whether these are sold separately or will the Moto Mini actually be packaged. But it's quite an interesting new product announcement from uh, Tamiya. It's very simple and anybody can get into it. It's not very, very complex. Now we all know Tamiya is very well known for making remote control products. Um, this time around it's no exception, they launched two new tanks. This is the first guy that you see here. Uh, this time around, what's different with the remote control tank from Tamiya is that they've actually improved the servo motors um, for the tank itself. So in terms of the spinning of the cannon and the turrets, it is actually not as noisy and it's much more smoother compared to before. But the one that really caught our attention is this guy. This is the British Army Mark IV and this is quite an interesting tank because as you can see it's not a, a normal tank this tank is built to go around difficult terrains and the cannon and turrets is actually on its side so even in the demo here as you can see it can go through very rough terrain and even big gaps within the terrain itself it'll be interesting to see if any of the um, resellers or distributors will be bringing this into Malaysia we're wondering how much this will cost as well but this seems to be a very fun build to play around with The one remote control product from Tamiya that we are most excited about is this electric RC big truck, Mercedes to be frank. And here you can hear how they actually have or uh, mimic the startup sound of the truck itself. So that to us is actually very cool where you have the LED lights, uh, moving mechanism piston to make the dump truck actually operate itself. And man, I think this is uh, one of the must have. Just probably be looking out for this, we're not sure how much this thing is going to cost. But at 1 1 for this scale, it probably will be cheap. Also on demonstration at Shizuka Hobby Show by Tamiya 
is the one that doesn't get enough attention we think is the 1.8 Dancing Radar Remote Control Bike. This bike is interesting because it's not a two-wheel bike but a three-wheel bike as you can see from uh, the video just now. One of the key appeal of this thing is that when the bike falls on the side, you can actually pick it back up by itself. You know, you don't actually have to go to the track and uh, turn it around. So that's one of the biggest pain for most remote control car enthusiasts. If you know that you have been racing your car on a track, and when, you're, when your car is uh, on the side of turn turtle, someone actually needs to go to the track and actually pick your car back up. And it's, that's quite a pain. So this product is actually quite promising in the sense that you can enjoy as much uh, time you can on the track without having to get someone to actually go and, you know, turn your car or your motorbike around. So. This thing definitely should be getting a lot more attention than it deserves in the marketplace. For mini four-wheel drive fans, there were also two new products that was unveiled at Shizuka Hobby Show at the weekend. And this is the FM A chassis. And this was a design work that was unveiled in Thailand and they picked a winner. And this is the design that was designed by someone from Thailand, we believe. And so that is actually a quite interesting design with the red and blue and white stripes design. Very simple, very clean. And also at the same time, there is a 30th anniversary dash number one Emperor Memorial uh, product. There's a new product also being launched by Tamiya. This is the new product. So it comes with hard tires and it also has all the hard logos and different design for the shell itself. So this is actually very good news for people who are still into the mini four wheel drive hobby. We know it is still very active in a lot of communities around the world. Tamiya makes some of the best military vehicles and aircraft plastic models in the market and obviously this time around they didn't hesitate to review the new 148 scale Grumman F14D Tomcat. The F14D Tomcat this time around has actually some new engine nozzles, vertical tilt if you have a keen eye to notice what's the difference and also it comes with a new set of weapons such as laser gather bombs, GPS gather bombs and also the normal air to air missile type. What we were impressed with was how they managed to replicate the details within the cockpit. So I think once you look at the pictures afterwards, you'll be very, very impressed with how Tamiya has improved how they manufactured uh, military aircraft model kits this time around. Tomcat, of course, is one of the very enduring design. I think a lot of uh, modelers like have loved the Tomcat. Tomcat is quite an evergreen design in our opinion. So that's all the coverage that we have on Tamiya from the Shizuka Hobby Show. We do think that this time around, Tamiya has a very strong new product to be released, especially the programmable robotics uh, section. So this time around, if you have the time, go to the internet and look at a lot more exhibition pieces that's coming from the Tamiya showcase. Uh, there was also a lot of competition between modelers and the Shizuka Hobby Show on Tamiya, uh, army vehicles, and also militarized uh, tank and planes and also F1 vehicles. There's so many new products that's coming from Tamiya this year that we are not able to cover in this one video alone. But looking at the pictures from and also video from Shizuka Bisho this year alone, kind of looking at Bandai and Tamiya, we do think that uh, you know the plastic model industry is somewhat evolving. Instead of seeing the same old tired plum model industry, you do see that number one, Bandai has their LED model kit coming up from the uh, for the unicorn and also now you see that there's robotics coming in as well for Tamiya so we do see a little bit of a change to the industry overall and we do think that um, slowly but surely the plant model community will adapt to this change where there will be a lot more uh, modeling with uh, motors and servos into their future model kit so what do you guys think of Tamiya's new product coming up uh, from Shizuka Hobisho we'd love to hear from you guys and as usual thank you for watching please subscribe if you can thank you guys